I did promise that we would do the hard clue and of course the elite one uh, but I got tired last night and so I went to have nap time sleep time uh, look like from the first two we were at uh, about six minutes and about we'll call it 12 something 12 and some change so that's not bad for my predictions that I could do them under uh, 5 and 10 uh, considering I haven't really done since I started playing again about a week ago like seriously uh, I haven't done a close score for a long time <clears throat> so we'll see uh, so we how long it's going to take me to do this uh, this job here uh, this is the hard clue uh, I don't anticipate a whole lot. I, I think... Well, well, I know we're going to run into... We're going to have to fight some stuff. A little anti-poison. Because we always get poisoned by this thing that we have to fight. Usually it's a Ceridoman wizard. Fine. Good, great, grand. Um, but I, I think this is going to be a five or six clue deal. Uh, it's just gut feeling. But we should get started. So let's look at this. 722, 1455, uh, let's see on my little handy dandy screen over yonder, this looks like Taverly Wheatfield, Taverly Wheatfield it is, uh, quickest way to Taverly is to say, I'm out of here guys, Taverly, ah, I don't know, probably, it could be fun, this could be fast, this could be fun, uh, Hoping for some good loot like that uh, uh, Sarah Delman page. 2.5 million is what I sold that for. Not complaining there. It was worth 2.3 it said and sold a little bit better. Like I said, you know, as a general rule, I'm not going to use the sextant on these. Up to 7 million. It's like almost no money at all. <laughs> uh, I remember my first million. Oh, those were the days. Rock here. I think it's right here. Anti-poison. And it is a Zammy Wizard. Die, Zammy Wizard. <laughs> Scarecrow, you can jump in any time. This guy's pretty tough. Not really. That should have been it. What do we get? Next clue. Uh, White Wolf Mountain. Mithril plate legs, a ring of life, and a rune hatchet. I'm pretty sure I have all of those things. Oh, I don't want the wheat. Uh, White Wolf Mountain over there. Yeah, let's start on this side because the bank's on this side. I could run to the bank right now, which is right here, but I'm lazy. I'm going to have all this wheat weighing me down. So good. So good. Don't weigh me down, wheat. I don't need the wheat. All right. So what am I? What do I need here? Uh, mithril plate legs, ring of life, and a rune hatchet. Okay. Well, I do have a ring of life. Apparently, I don't have a rune hatchet or a set of mithril plate legs. So we'll just go make it. Doesn't take very long. We'll run back up into the hills. Than their hills. It's a nice thing about having good smithing and uh, crafting. Well, I have 99 crafting. I don't have. I only have like 95 smithing, which is meh. Like I said, I don't play that often. Uh, and smithing, I always found to be tremendously boring. Uh, even though there were, let's see, hatchet, hatchet, hatchet. No, hatchet. There it is. Uh, at least I got it high enough to make the basic stuff that I need for uh, close scrolls, right? I'm going to throw plate, plate legs. Oh, it's only two. I thought it was three. I try to pick up all ore if I see it. Uh, oh, I saved a mithril bar. That's why. Yeah, the scrolls from Damonheim. Oh, those are the greatest. Save you seeds and save you bars and mithril and all that wonderful stuff. To, that a person might need. I'm gonna drop off this mithril bar and then I, I like to have a clean inventory when we get started here and then then we'll rock it out. All right up to the pilot on the wife wolf, white wolf mountain. The only thing about hard clues is they're just there's a lot of running around 
Uh, I've always noticed that uh, you tend to have to run to places a lot more. I mean, I could have glided right into this guy. That uh, would have been interesting, right? But I could have done the tally, uh, you know, home teleport, and then get on a glider. I don't, I don't know that that would have been... Whoa! Alas, things have changed. What is the cave there? You just to connect over here. Well, we'll be. Okay, we're going to pause while we run. Well, we're back up here by the pilot. Wow, there's this whole different cave system thing going on. I Very new to me. Uh, yeah, I don't know what uh, what that's all about. we got to panic right here. We gotta, oh, ah, I ate my shark. Darn it. <laughs> uh, panic. Ah, Yuri, I don't like you. Oh, no, wrong weapon. Get your nice weaponry. Big sword. Killing blow. With a hatchet, even. Yeah, should work. Thanks, other Yuri. The Eggman. What do we got? Scrolling box. You'll need to wash the old ash off your spade when you dig here. The water nearby is stagnant. That is not a clue I remember. So, let's go over here to the handy dandy other computer. Go oh, here and we'll say cryptics. Hopefully the wiki is updated because I don't know this one. Uh, usually it's pretty good. The Y heading. It is... You... I need to look for... Undercook, no. Old Ash. Which one is this? Brain Death Island. Oh, thank gosh I've, I've got the clue. Go to Brain Death Island and go through 50% of Luke's water. The Ring of Charos. Or bring a bucket. Cross the bridge. Climb to the top of the mountain where you'll find a stagnant lake. Oh, I got a Ring of Charos. Dig in the southwest corner. You'll need to complete most of the rum uh, deal quest to get to this area. Wow. Talk about a weird one. Well, this is going to take a long time. Best place. Let's go somewhere close. Uh, Ring of Charos I have. So that should, that should speed things up tremendously. Seems like a needlessly complex clue, right? Do all of these things, and we will just give you another crew scroll, loser. And don't eat your shark. <laughs> Look, it just did. All right, we're at the eight-minute mark. Boy, we better this better go faster, huh? Uh, yeah, much faster, in fact. Uh, oops. Uh, oh shoot! It cuts me a werewolf. <laughs> yeah, see, I haven't attacked a werewolf in forever in this town. Let's see, what do we have here? Ooh, wolvesy bones. <laughs> One second. Alright, I decided to speed things up a little bit so we can get to this. We can get through this. I don't want to make a long video. Uh, normally I carry all kinds of, all of the teleporty, lovely, good things with me. Pretty certain in a way to get to, uh, to the Brain Death Island, which I haven't been to for a very long time. Let's go to this boat guy here. Is this the one? This, does this take me to brain death? Yes. Just quick travel. Bam! That would hurt. We've got a spiral up to the top of the... of the mountain. And all the guy, all of these are all the zombies that carry the signs. The protester zombies. And you can just pass the gate. Coming on down to the east side. What is wrong with you? There you go. 50% uh, Luke. See, needless running around. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All those zombies chase you because they, they're protester zombies. Alright. We're going through the gate, whether you like it or not, pal. 
I see past me. I'm the best lookout because I have half a face. Okay. Yeah, this is a needlessly long, long one. Uh, and then, if I'm correct, we just situate ourselves to the to the north here in the puddle. No, not that up here. Oh boy. Here's your dungeoneering deal. Little entrance. Sinkhole entrance. Wow. Run around, run around, run around, and do stuff stupid. Hopefully the next one is the reward. Yeah, it looks like pretty much... I don't know where you're going, but that's it's really nice of you to just run around like a wild person. Oh, that was long-winded. Cat door pyramid. We're going back to Sophonim. Remember how we do that? The fast way to Sophonim. Oh, wait. I need something. Do I have everything? I have the Ring of Life. Uh, I can get an uncharged Amulet of Glory. And add a two-handed... I'm gonna have to make. So, we go to Berthorp and do... We'll make that. Uh, oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, we'll make it. And, uh... uh to have Berthorp doesn't really make any difference. I was just gonna go to that, uh, that deal. And I have to just keep this rolling because uh, cause I claimed that it was going to take uh, under 15 minutes or so. What do we think? Next one. Yeah, it's usually a pretty good one. I, I bet we get it. We finish it on this next guy here. Okay, we got the stuff. We've got our Amulet of Glory uncharged. Uh, we have a Ring of Life and enough fixins of Addy to make a two-handed sword. Which we'll do post-haste. Same as yesterday. Uh, or same as we were. I showed you in the last clue. Nope, oh, wrong one. We're going to Bandit Camp. Truly, you, if you had all things perfect, you would just uh, teleport to South Pole of an each. Uh, and then you can go to South Sofanem from there. Fast travel. Eh, I don't want to waste those uh, those scrolls, the teleport scrolls. They're actually worth quite a bit. So if I, I, every once in a while I sell a few of them when they they gain popularity and value. So I, I'm trying not to do that. Uh, I want to I want to crank this out, hoping this is the last clue. As you see, it goes pretty fast. Uh, that's one of those things I was mentioning before. If you know the map uh, and you have your other resources open, you should be able to get there pretty quick. Ooh, here's another player. Come on past you, dude. Oh, you're a hit. You're smart. You brought water. You got your little chicken thing on there. Chicken pack. Buck, 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 buck. I miss the uh, the big chicken. Fighting the big chicken. That was way back in the the 16-bit days. Those were awesome. <laughs> there we go. I figured I'd get hit with a little. Little pain. Cat door pyramid. I don't think. Well, I don't think I need to do anything else. Yuri pops out here. Let me smack him around. Is that right? It is dance. And here he is. Where are you going? Oh, so slow to respond. Ah, uh, what did I do? Dance. And Yuri. How are you, Yuri? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. He's got ham robes, but with no logos. That's what I see. Yeah, not too difficult. This one's a little tougher. This is, uh, of course, I'm not buffing or anything, and not trying my hardest. Come on now, go down, Yuri. Oh, I forgot I didn't switch swords. I did it my left handed. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Another one. Did him without all the good stuff. Okay, one more clue. Taking a little bit longer than we like. This is easy. We're going to Ardunge. That's such an easy one. Come on now. Should we, uh, should we have a little chat with the gem merchant real quick? Because we're here. 
This German should look in the other way, aren't you? Whoops, bye-bye. Uh, yeah, uh, these little map guys, I, they, are, they are so easy to memorize. They're, they're worth definitely doing, because they they go across so many of the of the other clues. Uh, one, two, three, four. And this one you can start right here and go here or whatever. It's right here. Doesn't matter. You could dig anywhere in this general vicinity. We're getting another one. Ouch. Uh, split bark helm I have. Mud pie I have. A room plate body I have. Uh, let's go to some place so I can get to a bank instantly. And then uh, this will be the last one. Because that one will set the two easy. Jagex was like, well, we gave you 2.5 million, and you should be happy. But you got 2.5 million, which is nothing. It's a drop in a bucket. Uh, mud pie, split bark helm. I always throw the mud pie. I'm not able to click fast enough. Okay, so we got the stuff. Uh, room plate body, split bark helm. Oh, not going to do that. We're going we're gonna to do... Go back to Ardunge. Uh, there are certainly faster ways there than what I'm doing. Oh, I forgot to steal from the gem merchant. Bad. So bad. Um, I just do... Uh, I just pay the fare. Uh, skip the cutscene. Take the trolley. <laughs> the backyard bucket, as it were. Come on! <laughs> uh... Right over here. That's the way to. I've been. Do, I've done it forever. I, I, I can't remember. If there's a, probably a fairy ring in there. Uh, just pay Hajiti and and you're in. You have to have done this quest, of course. But that's okay. All right. What do I gotta do? I need to blow the kiss and then not throw the mud pie. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. Between the tables. We're here, we're hoping for the final one. Um, what happened? Hello, kiss. Switch weapon. Take the double agent down. Yeah, I didn't throw the mud pie this time. Lag or something happened there. Because that was really not good. We are now at the 17, almost 18 minute mark. I, what I said under 20? I think I said under 20. Oh, they, they fixed that. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, you don't have to. Oh, oh, yes, wield. And now we can talk to him. And we got the deal. Thank you, Yuri, and my mud pie master. What'd we get? 18 minutes. 76,000 coins. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. There you go. Uh, 18 minutes, 14 seconds. That's not too bad. And, uh, uh that's okay. What do we get? These Polyvanich teleports. Oh, that's actually worth it. Okay. Well, there you have it. Hard clue. Under 20. I think I might have said under 15 or under 20. But it was under 20 minutes. Pretty fast.